right, guys, this is Trader Sebran here on Euro USD forecast for the week. This is week 19. We're looking at what the market holds for us on Euro USD. Now, if you are joining us for the first time, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You don't want to miss any of this video that we do weekly. It's going to change your trading. I tell you what, it's a way for you to learn how to trade. And if you stick with us, Every week you're watching our analysis, you would definitely understand how to trade the forest market. I guarantee you that. Now, let's look at what we have on Euro USD. I just did a video on GDP USD. So if you trade GDP USD, watch this video and it will change the way you look at the market on GDP USD. So now, on Euro USD, we've been having a very big struggle of the market for the past three weeks. Uh, what I mean by that is, even though it's looking very bullish, you can see that market has been struggling for the past three weeks to break higher than where it has been. So we see that price created a previous high and never broke that high. It's been there for a while. So move up there, came back down, move up there. So we have this previous high that the market has reached. Well, so we still be will still be the current high right now. So we have the previous low that the market has reached and it's still actually not too far away from the current low. So already we can see that there's a consolidation in that in that, in that region where the market is consolidating. So for those of you trading Euro USD, you can see there's no much movement in the market on Euro USD for a couple of weeks and days. So uh, the reason is just obvious. You can see that there's a struggle within that range. But I wanna show you how to trade this range next week as a Euro USD uh, trader. Now, first of all, we can tell that the market has hit a top high. So uh, there's a struggle within this region right here, okay? The market is struggling within this high. It's failing to break this high that you see here. So if it does, then we should be looking at more buys but if it doesn't then we should be focusing on three things number one if price push higher and break above this high we should be looking for more buys right but if it stays in between then we are trading this range we're going to teach you i'm going to teach you how to trade it then if it breaks below then then we should be looking for more sales and target this low for the week so now remember this is a weekly time frame so let me move back to a smaller time frame to help you understand what to be looking at on euro usd so let's look at the four hour i uh, will just skip the daily let's look at the four hours especially for those of you doing day trading look at the trade that has been going on for the past few days now if you check this zone this was on friday last week and we had a monday uh a trade. no we started this week this week this is a week this week trades now this was wednesday toward so we have this week trade monday open market open and then we saw a drop and then price came to the low of the week and then push all the way high get to this high drop again came all the way down here and it's struggling okay now this is what we call indecision if you check the weekly candle i showed you it was indecision candle so that means the whole week closed at indecision that means the buyers had their share the sellers had their share but the market is at the middle equilibrium okay how do you trade this the first thing is to watch for what the market is going to do do not be quick to take any major action in the first eight hours of the day because you want to see because this is euro usd you want to see what the market is going to do and is going to push up because you are not taking any major action okay until the market push up so you want to see price come to this high again, this zone, and expect a price action. Multiple rejection, like you see, rejection, something like this at that key level. Okay, you want to see that. Now, it may not get up there. Watch out also for this key level. Now, but already what I'm showing you on the four hour, this is the previous high. This is the previous low on the four hour time frame. So, or you could consider this as a low. But if you want to use this low, okay, take this low and use this as a minor low, major low, okay? Major key level, major key, minor key level. But this is a previous high. So you want to stick to this high that the market created. All right. Now, 
you want to see that price come back here because we saw that price drop to this level and rejected and went back up. Now, if it drop again, you want to see a rejection because we could see an order that was taken here, which already mitigated. Order block here has been mitigated. So price may go up now to tap into the top order block here, which is in this zone. And that's the place you want to look for sell. You want to look for sell there. But if it doesn't happen, and then price just break above it, wait for a pullback and look for buy. But at this week, we are in an indecision. The week just ended indecision. So you need to wait for price to come out of this consolidation zone, or you can trade the range. Now, the reason I'm suggesting you trade the range is because it's a beautiful pips up and down. We have about, that's about 150 pips that you can collect from that zone up and down, whichever way you want to trade it. But depending on the position of the market, so even though you can catch a 50 pips, catch a 100 pips per week, that's great trade for you, all right? So watch out for this zone. First, the market has created a very a strong indecision in the market. So we have an order here that you need to pay attention to. We have an order here that you need to pay attention to. So we have a demand zone and the supply zone there that the market will eventually come in, tap into that zone, and then give you opportunity to sell. So pay attention to that. So this is Euro USD. Um, so I'm doing the analysis in a very different way. So you understand that this is the way I would trade this market on Euro USD. Okay. So firstly, we can see that the market is trending up. So it's a buy zone. But already, if you check structure, all right, the market broke this previous high and is a consolidation. That's why we have indecision. So structure-wise, it's not really in line with the higher highs, higher lows. But we already know that we have higher lows. But the higher high, there's a struggle. So now, if we look at this zone on the body candle, we can see that this high here has actually broken this high using the body. Not the weak, I'm using the body. So we can still see that a sign of a higher high is obvious. So if this price push up to this high here, we should be expecting price action. We should be expecting price action. If it drop, then we're buying. Sell there, set to the zone, wait for a buy zone, buy. Or if it breaks that zone, that trend line, and tap into the zone, and then still push all the way down, then you should be looking for sell. So if price do this and went up, buy more. If price do this, and came down and break the structure, this structure, this structure, then you're looking for more sales. So pay attention to this zone. This is the zone I want you to pay attention to. It's a trendy range for you this week. Even though you're a scalper or whatever, the overall trend on the four hour time frame is bullish. So look for more opportunity to buy this market. But if you have opportunity to sell, why not? If price come up high here and create a rejection, you can sell to this region, sell to the next low, sell to whatever the price can get to. You know how your trading strategy works. You know your risk appetite. You know your risk to reward ratio. Pay attention to that, okay? It's very important. So this is what I'm looking at on Euro USD. Now, another additional thing I want to bring to your mind is, first of all, look at these two candles, okay? If you look at these two candles, we see that this bearish candle, this bullish candle engulf this bearish candle, right? Excellent. So that shows us that this bullish candle dominated this region. But we have the candle that closed, closed a little bit into the bullish candle. That actually makes us to have indecision in the market, okay? That's why we have indecision on the weekly time frame, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't trade yet until you see price. Head up here or price. Head down here. Okay? Within the zone. So you want to see price, what price would do here, and look for opportunity to buy the market because we can see all the way that the market is obviously trying to go up. 
and is bullish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that bullish momentum. Look. All right. So it's still bullish. We are not selling yet until we start seeing a lower high. Somebody said, well, that, that's a lower high, isn't it? Well, if you look at it closely, I don't think so. It's not a lower high. It's just indecision. The market hasn't given us the sign yet. It could, yeah, it could, it looks like a lower high, but what would you call this then? Because I'm seeing this whole movement as one particular movement, right? price that's all so price went up came back down and it's going back up that's all i see so there's no break of structure otherwise we'll be looking for okay let's see the lower high no so stay with this guys stay with this this is what i'm looking at on euro usd now i've already shown you guys on gdp usd so those of you trading euro usd this is what we're looking at on the economic calendar this week so we have uh, on Monday is free. It's a public holiday or bank holiday in the United Kingdom. So there's no trade on Tuesday, no trade. I mean, no uh, news, no economic news. And then Wednesday, we start seeing a lot of fundamentals coming in. CPI, because you, tra you trade Euro USD, you should pay attention to this CPI. And also, we have news coming in on Thursday uh, from 130 affecting USD. And also on Friday, 3 p.m., uh, news affecting USD. So those are the three days that we have for the week uh, 19 that there's going to be um, uh, fundamental news. So pay attention to that. And if you don't know what to do with the news, don't trade it. Get out of the market. Trade before the news and after the news. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I believe you enjoyed yourself on this video. This is Trader C. Brown. And mind you, and remind you also, I do not do uh, uh, account management or ask people to uh, bring their money to trade for them. I don't do that. So that's not what I do. I teach people how to trade and I make them traders. So that's what I do. And also my link, my contact is in the description of this video below. I'll see you guys in the next one, week 20. Bye for now.